Don't you just love all the festive events around Christmas time? I do. Today lets you and I create our own magical event by shopping for and hosting a Victorian mother-daughter Christmas tea party. For the cherry on top at the end of our visit, I will be sharing our thrifted Christmas village. Hello friend and welcome back. I'm Rachel from the blog StoneCottageHome.com where we cultivate the art of home. Today you are invited to join me for a Victorian Christmas tea. I love this time of year. It is the perfect season for giving of your resources, your time, and yourself in celebration of the greatest gift given to all. My theme for this tea is a classic Victorian style with a touch of whimsy. The invitations have already gone out, my guests have already RSVP'd, and we will have 12 lovely ladies. My goal, as usual, is to spend as little as possible looking for some fancy plates that will coordinate with our red tartan tablecloth and the spode Christmas plates that I already have. For that little touch of whimsy, I'm picturing some tiny nutcrackers as name card holders. But since it's the thrift store, you never know what you're going to find. Let's keep an open mind. I will also be hunting for some fancy water glasses. And with 12 ladies, I have a wonderful excuse to shop for another handful of elegant fine bone china teacups. Since our table will be quite full, let's keep an eye out for a simple, sparkly centerpiece. Let's go shopping!
what a lovely shopping trip we have had together. We're home now and it is time to look over the goodies. I went ahead and picked up these lovely pink twirl drinking glasses and I can see them being useful in other tea table settings in the future. Also, I could not resist this exquisite stack of rose gold trimmed dishes. They are elegant, simple, Victorian, and very affordable. At another thrift store, I spotted this stack of cranberry edged dessert dishes and thought with that clear circle in the middle and lovely red edge, these would make a wonderful dish to set on top of the rose dishes or the Christmas tree dishes and it would shine through in the middle. So here's the rose dish and here's what I pictured with the cranberry. Isn't that gorgeous? One day when thrifting, I had already checked out when I looked down inside the glass case and saw stacks and stacks of gorgeous fine bone china teacups. So of course, I had to take a peek. Here is one. I have never seen a footed teacup before. Now this uh, teacup and saucer didn't match, but they went together well enough for me. Here is the saucer. And here's the cup. I have very rarely seen footed teacups before and I love the mother of pearl wash that there is on this. Plus, there's a surprise inside. Don't you just love that? So beautiful. As you may have gathered by this point, mix and match is my very favorite. Here are another couple of teacups that I got. Both of them have the mother of pearl wash, and this one is footed as well. Look at those dainty little feet, the chocolate swirl, and the rose surprise. Now look as I might for nutcrackers. I only found very, very large ones for $20 each, or a lot of broken ones. So I started thinking outside the box, and then when I spotted these, I thought they would make the most magical, whimsical little place card holders. They are hand-painted ceramic and just absolutely enchanting. Now you're in for a jolly good time. Everything is gathered together. Let's set our Victorian Christmas tea table.
We have been blessed with so many gorgeous goodies from the thrift shop. So now, let's get started setting that table. Plates are laid on the table with care. Name tags are placed. Since guests will be there, let's take a final look.
friend, as promised, let's tour a snowy Christmas village. What a lovely Christmassy day you and I have had together. My hope is that you found a stocking full of inspiration and ideas for hosting family and friends in your home this Christmas. If you enjoyed your visit, please subscribe, join the Stone Cottage Home family, and share the video with someone else that you think would enjoy it. Until our next visit, Merry Christmas and take care.